Hello, this is Vern, and if you're a woman who has achieved more than most, you're highly successful in your career, you make a great living, have fantastic friends, but can't seem to attract the kind of man you feel inspired by, today I'm going to reveal the top five mistakes that are keeping you single so you can course correct and find your ideal match soon. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to another edition of VernMendez.com. If this is your first time here, and you'd like to learn how you can attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or silly techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now so you can be notified of new episodes as they come out. There is nothing more frustrating to a highly intelligent and very accomplished woman than the thought that no one out there can be a great partner to you. And to top it off, the notion that there are women out there who are less intelligent than you are and far less accomplished than you are, who are creating conscious connections with men. And these are not just any type of men, but also awesome guys, quality men, makes you feel on edge <laughs> and understandably so. So my goal today is to share not just the generic reasons why women don't attract amazing partners, but the reasons why many accomplished women don't create the types of connections that they want. If you find yourself into one or more of these mistakes, that instead of just writing them down, saying, isn't this interesting, that you make a commitment to make at least one small shift today that can create the momentum you need to reverse this bad trend. Now, before I go into my first five reasons, if you want to go further that I can share in this short video and want to understand how you can develop a conscious dating strategy and attract even more quality men, then go to the first link in the description of this video. You'll see a page that looks like this. Enter your name and email and you can start watching my free training right away. First reason why awesome, intelligent, highly accomplished women don't create the connection they want is because they choose men who look great on paper but do not prioritize you or relationships. When you have the notion that you need to connect with someone who has similar characteristics than you and some of those are more superficial in nature even though they matter, and you connect with guys who seem to be highly accomplished and seem to have their financial affairs in order and seem to be desirable by other women and seem to make good decisions and have a great position, sometimes many of those guys do not prioritize relationships. They prioritize work and they prioritize their own needs. Now, I'm not saying that you should go for a guy who's broke, who has a bad life and who's uh, interests are super different from yours, but what I'm saying to you right now is that you are maybe going for a version of the guy that is not the type of man who really wants to go all in on you and all in on a relationship. And I'll come back to that in a second with a slightly different twist. Number two is thinking in some way that your accomplishments earn you points with men. Here's what I mean by that. Guys could not give a your position in your company, the amount of money you make, the I mean any that those things are very inconsequential to men. Point in case you'll find guys who make an amazing living and connect with women who make one tenth of what they do and they don't really care. It's difficult for some women to understand this because as a woman you evaluate guys differently than guys evaluate you. But when you have the notion that those things give you some level of leverage or points. And because of that, you show up with a slight air of entitlement or without an air of open heartedness or with less vulnerability or with less radiance or with less femininity, then all the guy has to do is not feel that connection and move on or not invest heavily in getting to pursue you. If you remember this, things will change. I'm not saying that you should do anything there's nothing wrong. Actually, it's great that you have uh, accomplishments and you make a great living. However, when you connect with men, the only thing you need to remember is the only thing he cares about is how he feels when he's with you. How does he feel when he's with you? Does he feel more alive or less alive? Does he feel more intensity in a good way or less intensity? Does he feel seen, understood, and appreciated? Or does he feel judged and rejected? That type of energy is going to 20 times X be more important to a guy than your position in your company, than your great living or your accomplishments. Number three is a lack of emotional discipline when deciding a guy is worth it. Here's what I mean. 
If you decide that a guy that sounds great on paper is worth it, many times you will lower your standards and change your boundaries because that guy ultimately might be worth it, quote unquote. So what happens is you connect to a guy who seems to have his stuff together, he's highly masculine, he's making great things in the world, or so it seems, and when he starts showing up less interested or comes up with excuses as to why he can't see you, or he wants to have sex too early, you might bend your rules for that guy thinking that it's gonna pay off, but it doesn't. All it does is teach this guy how to treat you, and he continues treating you that way until you eventually get fed up and say, I'm done, or worse, he decides to call it quits before he invests more time in getting to know you. Number four, and this is important and it connects to the first one I shared with you, which is rejecting men who have fewer accomplishments or make less money than you do. Hear me out before you throw a tomato at me. Here's what I mean. I'm not asking you to connect to a guy who's broke and attempting to survive. I'm not asking you to connect to a guy that you feel has no qualities and no values and is just uh, smoking weed and watching TV all day. What I'm asking you is to reconsider how strongly and how high up the hierarchy of your values it should be that he has the same level of income or higher than you. My recommendation is that you connect with men who have a vision for where they want to go in life, who are working hard at making that happen, who have a financial responsibility, meaning they are careful with their finances, even if they're not rich or making as much money as you, and who have values of connection, of intimacy, integrity. Connect to the guy's values first. That should be far more important than his position in society, what your friends might say about him or his job. If the guy is doing well, even if it's not as great as you, and if the guy is taking the steps to create the kind of life that he wants, then give him a chance. Number five is stepping into dating with the I'll make it happen energy that you employ when you raise funds for your company, when you uh, create a new product, when you close a deal. Why is this type of energy counterproductive in attracting the kind of man you want? Because the kind of man you want is going to, regardless of his accomplishments, matching yours or not, is going to have the energy that wants to move things forward and pursue you. When you show up with pushy energy, when you show up with needy energy, when you show up with energy that says, I'm conducting this thing, I'm leading right now in this process, it's very likely that the guy you're connecting with is not going to feel the momentum he needs to move things forward with you. Why? Because a guy who knows what he wants, will do what he needs to pursue you, connect with you, ask you out, seek you out, uh, initiate conversations regarding exclusivity and all that good stuff. It doesn't mean that you can't share things with him, it doesn't mean you can never initiate, it just means that you need to tone down your level of, I'm going to lead this process to, I'm going to open my heart and allow him and me to connect in a way where this process can flow. Hope these are helpful, useful, and insightful. If they are, <laughs> and you want to go further, as I shared before, go to the first link in the description of this video. You can watch my free training. Click like or subscribe if you enjoy this video. And last but not least, if you want my hand holding and help to create the result that you want, to attract the type of man you want in a fraction of the time, second link in the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.